Hello, I am Michael, a technical marketing engineer for Intersight, and in this video I will be showing you the Nexus support in Intersight. To get started, let's jump into the infrastructure service in Intersight. That's where we manage all of our infrastructure components. And there's also a networking tab where we can see one of our Nexus switches, including the health status and its alerts. If we want, we can drill down into an individual device to get more detailed information, contract status, a more detailed alert view, and more. But if that's not enough, we can drill down even further into the inventory to get more detailed information about the device. For example, we can look at the physical ports. So here we have a list of all of our ports on the switch, and then we can drill down even further into an individual port to get detailed information about what's going on there. But that's just the physical side. Of course, there's also logical configuration we can look at. For example, we can look at the interfaces and other things like layer two neighbors and VLAN information as well. But that's just visibility. That's not everything that Intersight can do for us. We can actually look at other things as well. So we can configure a switch from Intersight. So we have this workflow here, which will allow us to configure a port directly from Intersight. And we're gonna use port one slash four here, and we're gonna run that workflow against it to configure the port to set port speed, trunk state, and so on. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna pick the Nexus switch from a list we're gonna pick the port from a list. So we, as you can see, we're not providing text inputs, we're just picking information from a list. And then we're adding the number of allowed VLANs. And then we're running the workflow. And this workflow, each task will be used to configure different aspects of the device. And at the end of the day, when we jump back to the other view, you can see that the port is now configured. 